Hi guys, today I'm going to be reading Arthur's Computer Disaster by Mark Brown. Mom, can I use your computer to play Deep Dark Sea? asked Arthur. What's Deep Dark Sea? asked W. Only the greatest game in the universe, said Arthur. Can I, Mom? Please? See? You can see they're getting ready for dinner. I'm hungry. What's the game about? asked DW. A haunted, sunken ship, said Arthur, with skeletons, ghosts, and sharks. Sounds spooky, said DW. Mom, please, begged Arthur. Oh, all right, said Mom, but finish your dinner first. Arthur finished his dinner in a jiffy. Who wouldn't have that? See, here they are setting the table. Their house is really pretty. Once Arthur started playing Deep Dark Sea, he couldn't stop. Time for bed, said Dad. But Dad, I almost found the thing, said Arthur. When I find the thing, I can win stuff. You can find the thing tomorrow, said Dad. It's bedtime. I'm ready for bed, said D.W. sweetly. Here's the computer. It's crazy, right? It doesn't look anything like computers right now. It's in a closet, basically. The next morning, Buster came over to play Deep Dark Sea. Sorry, boys, said Mom. It's tax season. I need my computer all day. Just then the phone rang. It was for mom. I have to run to the office, she said, and don't touch my computer. Taxes are this thing that adults have to pay. So she needs the computer to pay those. I think Arthur's gonna go touch the computer even though his mom said not to. After mom left, Arthur and Buster stared at the computer. I know what you're thinking, said DW, but I'm so close to finding the thing, said Arthur. You could probably find it before your mom gets home, said Buster. I'm telling dad, warned DW. I'll give you my desserts for a whole week, said Arthur. And play dollhouse with me whenever I say so, asked DW. Yes, grumbled Arthur. And call me your royal highness, asked DW. Don't push it, said Arthur. Arthur is not listening to his mom. Arthur loaded the game. Look out for the squid squad, yelled Buster. I'm running out of oxygen, said Arthur. Look, said Buster, a treasure chest. That's it, screamed Arthur. That's the thing, I found it. Let me open it, shouted Buster. I found it, argued Arthur. They both dove for the mouse. I think you guys can guess what's gonna happen next. Here's their crazy game. Uh-oh. The keyboard crashed to the floor. Uh-oh, said Arthur. You're in big trouble, said DW. Just then the phone rang. Everyone jumped. It was mom. I won't be home until tonight, she said. Everything all right? Um, fine, just great, said Arthur. You know, mom can tell when you're lying, whispered DW. Maybe we could fix it before she gets home, said Arthur. See, here's the keyboard. that went cat crashing to the ground. Arthur looked through the computer manual. There's nothing in here about deep dark sea accidents, he said. Are you sure you have the right manual? Asked DW. Man, they took apart their whole bookcase too. Look at that. All the manuals. The brain can fix anything, said Buster. Let's ask him. Alan's not home, said the brain's mom. They checked the library. They checked the museum. Just when they're about to give up, they found him. Are you doing a science experiment? Asked Buster. No, I'm skipping stones, said the brain. It's fun. See, the brain can do regular things. He doesn't always have to be doing smart stuff. Everyone went back to Arthur's house. The brain examined the computer. Hmm, said the brain. He shook his head. That bad? asked Arthur. It must be, said the brain. I can't find the problem. Well, thanks for trying, said Arthur. Now you're in really, really big trouble, said DW. If the brain can't fix it, who can, said Buster. I have an idea, said Arthur. Arthur explained his problem to the computer expert. Then the computer expert, expert explained how much a house call and hourly fees would cost. See, money again. That's more birthday money than I'll ever see in my whole life, said Arthur. I'm doomed. See, so he tried to ask his friend, but he couldn't figure it out. Then he went to the experts, but they have, they're have they asking for so much money, and Arthur doesn't have that much money. We're all doomed, said DW, because now Mommy will lose her job and we won't be able to keep our house, and we'll all have to live in the cold on the street, and we'll all get ammonia and probably die, and it's all your fault, Arthur. DW is thinking of all kinds of worst-case scenarios. And she even mixed up pneumonia and ammonia. 
That evening, Arthur hardly touched his dinner. Hi, I'm home, called Mom. Mom, how about a game of cards, asked Arthur, and a family bike ride. Don't have time, sweetie, said Mom. I have tons of work. Mom headed for the computer. Arthur felt sick. Buster is still at their house for some reason. Arthur ran after Mom. DW ran after Arthur. Buster ran home. Buster's smart. You can see DW's store. Uh oh, they're panicking. Just as Mom's finger was about to hit the on button, Arthur yelled, Stop! I was playing Deep Dark Sea and the screen went blank. I'm sorry, I wrecked it. It's all my fault. That happens to me all the time, said Mom. Did you jiggle the switch? Mom jiggled the switch, and the game came on. Why didn't you call me, asked Mom. Always call me with your problems. I thought you'd be mad, said Arthur. I'm not mad, said Mom. I'm disappointed. Am I going to get punished, asked Arthur. Of course, said Mom. You did something you weren't supposed to do. Make the punishment really good, said DW. She's like so rude. No computer games for a week, said Mom. Now get ready for bed. I'll be up to say goodnight in a few minutes. See? So his mom... He should have asked his mom if he needed help. Arthur and D.W. did as they were told. Then they waited for what seemed like a very long time. Mom, called Arthur, time to tuck us in. In a minute, said Mom, the sharks are attacking. Maybe we should tuck ourselves in tonight, said D.W. Good idea, said Arthur. That means their mom started playing the game too. Crazy. I'll be right up, called Mom, as soon as I blast these skeletons from the treasure chest. Good night, Mom, called DW. Good night, Mom, called Arthur. Thanks, guys.